I've been really loving the siren eye trend that's been going around so I've tried it a couple times with neutral colors and I sort of did one in like blue but I wanted to do another color um, for YouTube so I decided to do red because it's kind of spooky but very sexy and red eyeshadow will always have my heart. First off, of course, we have to prime. I'm using Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base. This brush is from Sugar Pill. I'm also being sure to prime like underneath my lower lash line. For this look, I'm using the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Blends Palette. First, I'm going in with Vexed, which is a deep maroon color. I'm starting right in the middle above my crease, and I'm bringing that line outwards and a little bit downwards. For the second line, I'm starting on the edge of my outer corner lower lash line, and I'm bringing it up to connect it. Now I'm gonna use the eyeshadow to map out like the shape of my wing. So I'm starting on that outer corner and bringing it down. I'm bringing that eyeshadow to the middle of my upper lash line. While I'm at it, I'm also gonna bring this color along my lower lash line. Next, I'm using the shade Self Love, which is a really beautiful red eyeshadow. So I'm starting at the top and I'm just gonna be like patting it along where I put the other eyeshadow. This is a Sigma E54 brush. I placed it above where I put the initial line and now I'm gonna put it sort of below. I'm also placing it above the wing shape. I'm not bringing it all the way out like underneath my wing, but I am gonna be putting it along my lower lash line. I'm using a Sigma E36 brush to blend that out a little bit. Blending along the wing. You can kind of see there's like a little bit of fallout right in the front of my lid and at this point I'm just going to go in with a little bit of eye primer and kind of fix that up. You'll notice that the red eyeshadow blends out a little bit pinkish, which most red eyeshadows do. I'm using the shade First Kiss to buff that out. It's a warm orangey tan eyeshadow so it cancels out a little bit of that cool toned pink hue. Don't worry about over blending towards the end because we're gonna fix that up a little later. I'm also using this shade to blend the eyeshadow down a little bit further towards my inner corner. I'm basically just putting this shade everywhere where I already put the red. I'm running it along my lower lash line as well. Before I go any further, I'm going to set the rest of my lid. I'm using the same tan shade but I'm mixing it with a little bit of white so that it's like a little bit lighter. I just pat my brush in the tan and then the white. Now I'm going in with a black eyeshadow and a very, very skinny angled brush. This one is from P. Louise and it is my skinniest angled brush. I'm going to be using this black eyeshadow to very carefully map out my wing. I like to start from the outer corner and drag it up to the point. I'm starting at the place where my eyes crease and connecting that. And then from here, I'm bringing it down and just connecting it to my lash line. I'm also adding black along this little portion of my lash line, making it a little bit smoother. And now I'm going to fill this in sort of for funsies, like you don't really have to do it because I am going to be going in with eyeliner as well. And I'm also bringing this black along my lower lash line. I'm going back in with the deep maroon eyeshadow and I'm just using that to kind of blend out the edge of the black and give it a more smoky effect. I'm going to clean up this edge before I go in and add eyeliner. I'm using a nice and thin concealer brush. By the way, you can use tape if that's easier for you. Personally, for me, I feel like the tape makes it look crooked because it kind of curves with my face. And then like when I rip the tape off or <laughs> when I carefully peel the tape off, it just looks a little wonky. So I prefer to just do it like this and straighten it by hand. Now I go in with a little bit of eyeshadow and just kind of blend it into the wing a little bit. I'm using NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. I really like it because it has a brush tip applicator and it's waterproof. I'm starting in the middle of my lash line and making a very thin line along my lash line. Now I'm going to do the, the under, underline. 
Okay. I'm going to the little corner of my crease here, connecting it up to the point. Of course, you have to fill in the wing. You probably can't really tell on camera because there's black eyeshadow there, but I'm filling it in. Now it's time for the inner corner wing, which is not as stressful because it's super easy to like fix if you mess it up. I'm just gonna start with a line. I'm gonna connect that line to my lower lash line. Continuing on with the eyeliner, I'm going in with the Sephora brand gel liner. It's just like a little twisty deal. And I'm going to be smudging this along my waterline. I like to go in and set that with black eyeshadow. It just makes it last longer and really makes it like pop out as more black. You can use any lashes you want, obviously, but this look pairs really nicely with lashes that have like a flare towards the end so the hairs get longer towards the end because it kind of goes with the eyeshadow. These are from a brand called Dipped in Diamonds. Disclaimer, I do not know if this brand still exists, but they sent me lashes like probably like five years ago. <laughs> They don't cover my whole lash line, which I like because I feel like lashes, when I bring it in towards my inner corner, like my eye really waters a lot. Now that I have my lashes on, I'm going in and adding the gel eyeliner to my tight line. It's much easier to do after you put lashes on. It's kind of hard for me to differentiate between mascaras sometimes, but I know that this one is one of my favorites. It's called Hypnos Drama from Lancome. Do you see that? Oh my god. No mascara, mascara. It's cool, right? Does it look siren-y? Now it's time to finish up the rest of my face, so I'm just gonna rejuvenate my foundation a little bit. I'm gonna start with some contour. I'm using the Fenty Cream in the shade 01 Amber. I'm gonna add some around my hairline, from along my jawline. I really don't have a nose that's like friendly to contour but I guess I'm gonna give it a go do some here and then I like to kind of do the sides a little bit so I take my concealer that's actually lighter than my skin tone this is the elf hydrating camo concealer in the shade fair rose I put some along the side of my nose like over here I put some up here the top and then I bring it down in a really thin line and then I go <laughs> I'm just blending it out on my nose I just pat it and try to keep it in the same space like patting it now right now I'm just setting my nose because I'm not done with the rest of my face yet but I just want to lock in this freaking contour that I worked so hard on I don't know if it looks much different from my nose uncontoured, but whatever. I'm using a cream blush from Milani called Nude Kiss. I like to bring my blush like up a little bit, but you have to be really careful not to fuck up the eye makeup. But, like when the blush trend came in, I was like, you know what? I like this. I like it a lot. I'm using Charlotte Tilbury Face Sculpt and Highlight in Fair Medium. Ooh, I actually did want to add a teensy bit of highlight. Not a ton, but like a teensy bit. I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter Illuminatrice. I don't know what that means, but I like this highlighter. I don't know if it's still available. It was part of like a special collection. I'm not adding a lot, just a little. I think this look looks nice with just a little bit because I didn't really add any highlights or anything to my eyes so I'm gonna go in and set the rest of my face like I feel like I need to look a little bit more rosy you know what I mean I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier rose blush I feel like I should deal with my hair before I do my lips okay George Washington <sighs> it doesn't look too bad I'm going to line my lips with a MAC Cosmetics Whirl lip liner Ooh, I like that one. This lipstick is called Zaddy from Melt Cosmetics. It's cute. I like it. I feel like I should also add at least a smidgen of gloss. I'm going to try this gloss from NYX Cosmetics. It's called This is Milky Gloss in the shade Milk and Honey. So, 
this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you. I love you. And I will see you in my next video.